Hey, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm going to try to answer a viewer question. So let's go ahead and get started. So recently I got a viewer question about the object menu in Orca Slicer. Now the object menu, for anybody that, that's looked real carefully, up here under process, you have both global and objects. What that means is if you go with global, anytime you change either the quality, strength, speed, support, or other settings, that applies globally to everything on your plate. If you just want to change the settings for one of your objects, you can use the object menu. So let's click on the object menu and just take a look. So if I click on that, here is the frequent. The first tab is the frequent settings changes. And anytime I click on one of these, you'll notice it changes which object I'm working on. Now there's a plate one, there's also outside. Outside is for other plates you might have loaded. We're not really interested in that right now. So we have each of these models. Here's the frequent settings. And then I can go individually. Let's say this model, I want this one to be a layer height of 0.3. If I go around the plate, you'll notice I've only changed the settings on that one object. So looking through the settings here, you can pretty much change everything that you normally would change globally, except this time you're doing it on your individual pieces. Now you can also right click on each model and you can look at this in different ways. One of the neat settings here is you can edit in the parameter table. So again, with these frequently used settings, I can edit and change things this way and change it in a table format. Now, one of the other settings is edit process settings and click that. And this lets us edit those processes. Now, just looking through all this, I'm just going to undo that. So that's undone all my changes. It's real easy to change the settings for individual models. Now, the big issue I would point out to everybody is just making sure which model you're actually on. I've tried this quickly when I'm trying to create a duct for a printer and I have lots of different parts loaded. You need to make sure you have the right one selected. And then you also need to go what I feel like is back and forth in between the global and the objects. That's just a real quick overview of the object menu. Hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Hi. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15-minute help session with me, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one-hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me, and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.